So it has recently come to my attention that we have not given the Porky Princess her royal due of late, and that will simply no longer do. She is one of my favorites across this entire franchise, therefore not only has a new Let's Play begun with her at the helm, I wanted to showcase a year old mod by Math99 and Wyro here that looks to refresh the cursed piggy herself. So let us get to it on pigs. And first things first, actual pigs are better friends than ever in a plethora of ways throughout the day, so get your notepad ready. To start though, all pig followers of any sort now give plus 40 sanity per minute instead of the usual plus 25. And this includes Shipwreck's Wild Boars too. But even the wildest pork out there also has been tamed a bit as not only are were pigs negative sanity auras down to minus 40 per minute from a whopping minus 100 where Wilba is now considered completely neutral to them which could easily be a little more advantageous than you might think. To make notes. But if we return to normal Wilba here, we can start to see the changes to loot that her royal subjects offer her beyond the typical grass, twigs, and seeds. Beautician pigs have a 10% chance to give her blue or green mushrooms. Florists have a 25% chance to give corn, pomegranate, watermelon, and eggplant crap seeds. Ushers now give popcorn 10% of the time, and that's hilarious. Worker pigmen offer us rope or boards 5% of the time. Farmers now give flint, logs, berries, pumpkins, asparagus, or radishes now. And lastly, miners give Wilba flint, rock, and niter. It's good stuff. Oh, but we're really only just getting started, folks. So let us talk some foodies. Wilba now suffers zero negative effects from eating any sort of raw meat in this game, as you can see. However, easily the biggest takeaway here should be how Wilba can now consume monster meat back to back without any trouble. Yup. No more accidentally forcing a Will Wilba transformation, everyone. But this is Don't Starve we're talking about, so now there's just something else to stress about. Hunger itself. Wilba is a stress eater in this mod, meaning the lower her sanity gets, the faster her hunger will drain. But that said as well, its maximum drain is only 50% more than usual at zero hunger, so it's actually not that bad. Toss in how both types of blooming tubers now give close to 30 hunger each due to them being being her favorite foods now, and I think we'll be alright. But it's time for the big guns, folks. The where Wilba tweaks, biggest of all being that she's got kitschy idols now, just like Woody. Easily craftable via various meats and wood, it should surprise no one that these idols help force a five minute where Wilba form anywhere in the world without the need of a full moon. And heck, they will even force all other pig types in this entire franchise into a were pig as well, as you can see. But the thing is, though, very much unlike Woody, Wilba can now forcibly end her curse as well. Just note, this just leads to a couple notes itself. Number one, no more beard hair drops. And number two, lowered stats upon reverting to normal Wilba. Hunger and sanity will sit at 50%, while her health is going to rest at 75%, so you best be ready if you're not prepared to end a transformation nowadays. But what about when she is running around like crazy? Well, her new health here is actually dropping to 250 instead of 350, which is quite the decrease. However, all that's to come should help mitigate that. As not only will additional idols heal her for 20 a pop without extending any of the transformations, which is a big note, her combat skills have all gotten all sorts of buffs. She will boast a built-in 25% damage absorption. She regenerates 0.6 health per second over her original 0.5, and her attack damage increases as her hunger does. In short, you'll want to keep it high. Otherwise, it can fall all the way down to a mere 41 damage per swipe, which is actually weaker than the original Where Wilba at the end of the day. In my opinion, however, the true fun of Where Wilba now comes outside of combat. For you see, she can now perform way more tasks without destroying or digging anything up. In fact, she actually can no longer dig anything up with her claws at all. And while that is a price to pay, you will appreciate the bonus actions without a doubt. Especially when she's also speedier on the resource gathering. But to wrap up our day, come several final notes. Where Wilba will gain but 25% of the sanity from any foods, both positive and negative, mind. Negative sanity auras are far less effective against Where Wilba to help not make her already ridiculous hunger 
train even more ridiculously. She has full night vision now instead of just part of the screen, and you'll have the player to know what I mean. And finally, you can be where Wilba on a boat with every single benefit that comes with that, namely speed, but not Beeflo's mind. Beeflo's will now buck her off. We here, however, will not, not anymore at least. Seriously, I'm kind of ashamed by how little Wilba content there is on the channel, but here's to correcting that as we speak. But one last fun note here, Queen Malfalfa also has new quotes for all survivors, including when her daughter returns home, and that's just adorable. But there you have it, everyone. The Wilba Refresh Mod by our friend Mathem99 and Wyro. Be sure to read up on all the changes yourself, as there's actually one or two I didn't bother you with. And perhaps give the mod a try as well, because let's not forget that Solo Don't Starve itself just got massively updated the other week. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish to all, adventure lieth yonder, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.